Okay, focus on the middle of the blurry image and try to stare at it without blinking. After some time, you'll notice that the picture starts to fade away. This visual illusion is called the Troxler effect, or Troxler fading. Its main idea is that your neurons stop reacting to the stimuli that remain unchanged over a period of time. In this case, it's the blurry picture in the background. This results in the image disappearing from your consciousness. Look at these two tables. Are they different in shape and size? Most people will answer that they are. But in fact, they're exactly the same. Here, you can make sure yourself. You perceive the tables differently because your mind can't but make a 3D model out of the 2D picture. And then, it's all about perspective foreshortening. That's the visual effect when an object appears shorter than it is when it's angled towards you. Look at the white spot in the middle of the red circle. The longer you stare at it, the better. Soon after you start, you'll notice a thin ring of light. It'll surround the edges of the circle. Keep looking for some more time. Remember to keep your head perfectly still. After that, slowly move your head backward. Your eyes should remain glued to the dot at all times. The edges of the circle will soon start to glow bright cyan. If you continue to move your head back, the color will become brighter and brighter. The coolest thing about this illusion is that the ultra cyan you see isn't in your monitor's color palette. Concentrate on the cross in the middle of this moving image and look at it for a half a minute or so. You'll begin to see a green spot running around the circle. It seems to be erasing the magenta dots from the gray background. But once you move your eyes, the magenta spots are all there again. This phenomenon is also known as the lilac chaser illusion. Tile A on the checkerboard looks way darker than tile B. But if you look at the tiles independently, you can make sure they're actually exactly the same color. This illusion is a perfect example of how your brain uses its previous experience to interpret everything it sees. In the picture, some light is falling onto the surface, and there's also a cylinder that casts a shadow over the dark and light tiles. This fools your mind into believing that tile B is the lightest. When most people see this image, they immediately spot a triangle. It's formed by the three figures. Each of them looks like a pizza with a missing piece. This triangle also looks brighter than the background. In reality, though, there's no triangle and the whole picture has the same brightness. This optical illusion proves that when a textured object is positioned against a plain background, it seems to be brighter and have more contrast. But if the background is also textured and high contrast, the object becomes less visible. Here, your brain works in a similar way it does when you see something from a distance or through the fog. Then, with a lack of light falling on your retina, your brain can interpret images incorrectly. The same happens with a low-contrast object on a gray background. Now, sit at a comfortable distance away from the screen. Then start to move closer toward the center of the image. You'll immediately notice that the white light in the middle expands and becomes brighter. Start moving back and forth. The image will keep changing, becoming dimmer and then lighter again. This phenomenon is known as the breathing light illusion. Look at this image attentively. (laughs) You're likely to say that the black stripe lines up with the blue one. But in fact, the black line is connected with the red one. You see it once the part keeping the lines out of sight becomes transparent. This grid looks nice and even in the middle. Closer to the sides, though, it gets all messed up. But there's a way to fix it. Stare at the center of the grid. After some time, you'll notice that the edges have started to arrange themselves into a more regular pattern. Scientists aren't sure, but it might happen because your brain likes order. That's why it does everything possible to help you see the world in an orderly way. Now look at the black square crisscrossed with white perpendicular lines. The spots where the lines cross change their color from white to gray and back. When you focus on a particular spot, you see that it's white. But as soon as your attention wanders, the spot turns gray. This is called the Herman grid illusion. And now, how about we take it one step further? 
This time, there are white dots placed at the intersection of gray lines. Look at this image attentively. You'll notice black dots that will start to pop up at the intersections. Plus, you're likely to perceive the dots as white at one moment, and then, almost immediately, you'll see them as black. When you look at this image, it may seem to you that the horizontal gray lines are slightly curved, but in reality, they're parallel. This illusion is possible thanks to the high contrast between the two different types of bricks, white and black. When your brain interprets the picture, it stretches dark zones into light ones. That's what causes the warping effect. The image you see is actually not animated. It's hard to believe, but choose a part of the picture and focus on it. You'll see that the dots have stopped moving. The movement you observe is an example of the phenomenon called the peripheral drift illusion. It happens because your brain needs different periods of time to process objects of different brightness. Look at the center of the screen. After several seconds, you'll notice that the flickering circles are moving. But in reality, they stay in one place. If you want some proof, try focusing on one of the circles and you'll see that it's stationary. This illusion is possible because that's how your brain interprets small changes in gradient. While looking at the picture, most people see a semi-transparent cyan circle. It overlays a part of the image. But guess what? There's no blue circle. This illusion is known as neon color spreading. It occurs because your brain gets tricked into adding some non-existent color to the image. Look at the dot in the center for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Now quickly look at the ceiling and blink a few times. The colored squares have just moved there. What a beautiful pattern of rectangles. But just give it a second look, and you'll see they are in fact circles floating against the striped background. Stare at the central dot for 10 seconds and see what happens. Wow, the colored circles switch places. In fact, they're both gray now, and your brain makes you see colors that aren't really there. This illusion can make your phone grow. Stare at it. Magic is happening. Keep staring. Now, quickly look at the back of your phone. The logo is moving. How many colors do you see in this image? If you answer three, you're a bit wrong. There are just two colors here, black and white. The grid creates the illusion of gray as they intersect. What about this one? There are just three colors here, red, blue, and yellow. The inner squares only seem different because of the grids and backgrounds. This grid is broken, but you can fix it right now. Stare at the center of the grid for 15 seconds and see what happens. Told ya! It all looks in order now. This happens because your brain prefers to see regular patterns. It's spread from the center to the edges of the grid. This image is perfectly static. Just stare at one part of it. Yep, it isn't moving anymore. This is one example of peripheral drift illusions. Your brain lags a bit when it's processing areas with different light intensity and makes you think the image is animated. Can you tell if this one is moving or static? I give you 10 seconds to figure it out. Static again. Contrasting colors create the illusion of motion. How many animals do you see here? There are eight of them hiding between the lines. If you saw five or more, you have the eye of an eagle. Can you tell which of these two yellow lines is longer? It seems obvious the answer is the higher line. In fact, they're absolutely the same length. Your brain gets distracted by other elements of the image, like background lines, and you see the image in a distorted way. What about these two lines? Which one is longer? Again, they're the same length. The way circles are set makes the upper line seem longer to you. How many colors are mentioned here? If you got seven, great job! Nothing can distract you. Can you find the mistake here? 
The number sequence is alright, but you don't need an extra V. Let's go under the sink. Find three differences between these images in 10 seconds. Good job! Same task here. Did you spot them all? These images are different in three details. Can you name them? Fantastic! Oh, this looks delicious. Again, there are three differences between the images. Hope you found them all! These two images are different in five details. Try to name them in 10 seconds. Well done! Can you find five differences between these two? Well, nothing can hide from you. Help these kittens find eight hidden objects. Meow! Thank you! This dog is made of many little things. Can you spot 13 of them? Amazing! <laughs> the fall is a busy time for farmers. Make their life easier and find 20 hidden objects they need. Wow, you could be a detective! Did you find 20 objects in this image? Feel free to pause the video if you need more time. Great job! This time, you only have to find 12 hidden things, but it's trickier because of all those dots. You did it! Moving on, what you see in these optical illusions can tell a lot about your personality. What is this one to you? Those who clearly see the mountains covered with snow mostly have their feet on the ground. You take things the way they are, like to plan everything and move ahead step by step. If you spotted the horses first, you like to be ahead of everyone and live at full speed. You're rather impatient and get bored of tedious work that needs a lot of attention. Now, what catches your eye here? If it's a peaceful creek in the woods, you always see the big picture. You stay calm even when everyone around you is losing it. You always know how to choose the right option out of many quickly. If it's a grumpy face to you, you tend to overthink things and see a catch in every situation and offer. You don't make friends easily, but when you do, it's forever. Time for the next illusion. Those who see a face here, you have a bright mind and you like to keep it busy. You're good at solving tasks of any difficulty, and you come up with the best ideas. Those who see a beautiful lady in a dress in this one, you're artists at heart. You take inspiration almost from anything and anywhere. You write, paint, sing, or create music, and it makes you happy. This one's pretty plain. Or is it? If you see an owl landing, you're a great team player and easy to work with. You don't mind sharing credit for what you've done with others. Sometimes you're too afraid to speak up. Remember, your ideas are worth it. If it's a girl looking in the distance to you, you have amazing communication skills. You feel comfortable even in front of the crowd and like to share everything about your life on social media. How about this one? If it's a waterfall to you, you love travel and explore new places. You aren't afraid of anything, except for boredom. You always say yes to new adventures and places. 
If you see a young couple here, you're a true romantic. You believe that love always wins. Even when someone's mean to you, you forgive them easily and try to find an explanation for what they did. What are your thoughts on this image? If it's a person standing alone on a rock to you, you're mostly an introvert. You need your alone time to bring your thoughts in order and recharge. You don't have many friends, but you're loyal to them. If it's a face of a girl to you, you often live in the world of your dreams. You always try to improve your life and sometimes forget to see the good in everyday life. Try seizing the day every once in a while. What does this one look like to you? If it's a pattern of trees, you aren't afraid to tell the truth, no matter what it is. You have a point on anything, and it's not easy to make you change your mind. Sometimes it's okay to ask others for advice and follow it. If you see a girl with her back to you, you're afraid to hurt the feelings of others. You try to avoid conflict by all means, and sometimes agree with others just to make them feel better. What do you see in this first one? If you saw huge lips first, you're a pretty straightforward person and you take people for their word. If the trees are all you see, you're ambitious and always one step ahead of everyone else. How about a reading test? Is there just one word or more? This one speaks for itself. An optimist will always see the good first, and probably won't see anything else. If you saw the bad first, you might find it difficult to trust people, at least at first. What about here? Remember, sometimes you see what you want to see. Time's up! If you spotted the lock first, you love to explore the unknown and step beyond your own boundaries. If you saw a crying person first, take some time to relax and clear your mind. You probably don't pay enough attention to your feelings. Hmm, this one clearly has a hidden message. Can you spot it? If you saw some ancient columns first, it may be a little difficult for you to break out of your comfort zone. It's not that easy for you to face the opinions of others. If you saw people first, you're self-confident and know exactly what you want and how to get it. You also help others a lot. Your 7 seconds for this illusion starts now. Does it look like an open door to you? Yeah? Then you're ready for big life challenges. Embrace them. It's exciting to try new things. If it's more of a musical note to you, you feel you have something important to share with the world. Never miss a chance to express yourself. What does this seascape say to you? If it's all ships to you, You clearly love to travel and explore new places. If it's mostly a bridge, you appreciate stability and order. Your 7 seconds for this next one starts right now. Can you see a face here? If so, you care a lot about others. For you, everything and everyone is unique and interesting. If it looks like a fish, you're happy with your life and believe in good luck. Here's another one for you. If you saw the saxophone player first, you're the life and soul of any party. But even you deserve a break every now and then. Share the spotlight sometimes. If it looks like a huge face to you, You prefer your own company and a nice long book. Going out sometimes wouldn't hurt, though. You might discover something new about yourself. How about this one? You have 7 seconds to find all the hidden thingies. Those of you who noticed the trees first. You guys rely on your intuition a lot, and it never lets you down. 
If you notice the tiger first, you mostly rely on logic and careful planning, and you're great at it. It's a quiet starry night. What's so special about it? If you see a face with closed eyes, you usually care about others more than you do about yourself. If you noticed a person and a tree on a hill, you're a big dreamer and always believe the best is yet to come. Can you tell if this is just a portrait or something else? If you saw the portrait and that's it, You're hardworking and won't stop until you get the results you want. If you also saw an animal that the guy seems to be wearing on his head for some reason, you're more of a creative person, but you can sometimes get distracted by the little things. Starry, starry night. What secret is it hiding? If all you see here is a whale... You mostly see the big picture and are pretty happy with your life. If you also see the little surfer on the whale, you don't look for the easy road in life and you always double-check everything. You have 7 seconds for this one. Time starts now. Do you see a cute dog? (laughs) You must be a dog person. You love dogs for their loyalty, and they remind you not to take life too seriously. Can you see two kitties and a heart? You're a true romantic, and a cat lover, of course. I can tell you this one is a portrait. The rest is up to you. If you only see a young princess in this one, you'll always be young at heart, fun and outgoing. If you noticed an older lady, you're more realistic, kind, and caring. This one's pretty spooky. Can you figure it out? If you only see two birds, you're a straightforward and goal-oriented person. If you see a horse, that means you try to avoid conflict by any means necessary. Here's your next illusion. Tell me what you see. Did you spot the face of a girl? You love to communicate and will be amazing at any job that requires you to deal with people. Did you notice birds and a tree first? You'd feel more comfortable at a job involving some sort of art or self-expression. How about this picture? If the most obvious answer to you is, that's a girl in Paris, you're realistic and easy to work with. You must have plenty of friends. If you also see a face of a girl over here, You're great at grasping the big picture and the overall meaning of things. That's why you're such a fast learner. Look closely. Can you tell if the horse is coming or going? If you're sure it's coming your way, it means you can't wait for great things to come into your life. If you think it's leaving, you might be feeling a bit nostalgic about the past. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.